Hello everyone, my name is Arturo, but you can just call me Mr. Unemployable. As promised, we are at the 2025 Gold Cup, and our featured match today is the final match of the group stage against Costa Rica, currently leading the group. Well, we are in fourth. It has not been a good, good Gold Cup, and you will see why very shortly. Uh, next episode, we will do a full preview of the Zwei Bundesliga season. I do want to point out two things very, very quickly on the domestic front. Number one, VFB Stuttgart is our new senior affiliate, so they'll be paying us money. We get that sweet, sweet friendly cash from them, and we get to loan down some of their players of if, you know, Stuttgart ever feels like sending them out, which they've been a little bit reluctant to do so far. Not that I'm a little bit, you know concerned about that state of affairs, but we got them, which is great. Very happy about that. On the other front, and again, we'll do a, we'll do a full roundup next episode once we get back to the domestic front. The other important thing when we're talking about Armenia Bielefeld is the team awards came out. And if we go to those awards, we should find uh, player of the year is Harris Mamedovic, which is no shocker whatsoever. Mamedovic, far and away, the brightest light on the team in 2024-2025. Um, really, really hoping I can hold on to him before he moves on to bigger and better things. That would be that would be nice if we can hang on to him. Uh, other things to look at. Uh, team of the year, if we can find them here. Da -da 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 -da. I'm sure they're in here somewhere. Well, regardless... You know, one of these days I should be able... There it is, best 11 right below records. I know where I'm looking, I swear. There's our best 11 from the 2014-2015. That doesn't matter to us. We want them 10 years later. Unsurprisingly, Wolfgang Geideck is our top keeper at 6.65 average and 24 appearances. Followed by Hubner Hahn Teixeira, which is a bit of a shocker there. And Zanini. Gies, Ritzel, Martin, and Wolf. No shocker there. And Mimedovic and Moltz up top. Müller, Lavas, Janssen, Malios, Empen, Mittelstadt, and Schaefer on the bench. There's your best 11. All right, that's enough for the domestic front. I said we were going to focus today on the Gold Cup, and focus on the Gold Cup we shall, and it's going horribly. It's going absolutely horribly. Costa Rica, El Salvador, and Guadalupe are all ahead of us. Guadalupe undefeated with two draws. One of them is against us. And it's not like I can even claim we got CONCACAF. Totally, I mean, we did. This penalty that we uh, suffered against El Salvador was a completely bogus penalty. I ripped into the, uh, I guess into CONCACAF for this one, and they did not punish me, which tells you everything you need to know. A completely bogus CONCACAF penalty gives El Salvador the win, denies us a point. Not that it really uh, mattered in the grand scheme of things. I mean, Dawson, fantastic match at 7.4, in which case he, uh, you know, capitized himself to Canada, which is fantastic. Also, Jonathan Harrison capped ties himself to Canada, so fantastic. Two major pieces finally committed to their new adopted countries, which is good. Sinat, Ferguson, and Bridge also getting capped time performances. Not that they needed them. I believe Sinat was staying with us no matter what, and Bridge, I think, was only ever eligible, eligible for Canada. But at least they're all locked in nice and tight, which is always good. But like I say, this conga capping penalty, I mean, there's a problem here, too, in that we got a CONCACAF penalty to earn a draw with Guadalupe. Air did not deserve this penalty at all. Which means we would have lost 1-0 to Guadalupe. So either way, we're coming out of the first two match with one, matches with one point if you let the CONCACAFians cancel each other out. Which is absolutely unacceptable. I mean, okay. We get a, we get a draw against El Salvador, sure. Draw against Guadalupe, maybe. But to have to salvage a draw against Guadalupe and... To have to lose out on a point with El Salvador from a penalty is just unacceptable. The crazy part with it, the crazy part with it, is that all we need here is a win against Costa Rica. We go up to four points, and then uh, we have to hope we win enough to overcome the goal differential. We could actually be in this, which is hilarious. I think if I've done my math properly, three goals. We have to win by three goals, because if we score two... I think we all, we'd lose on goal score. What is the next tiebreaker? Let's find out here. Uh, goal difference and goals scored. Yep, so we need to score three goals. Yikes. Not uh, looking forward to it, but we got to try. We got to try. In the other groups, uh, as expected, Mexico is already qualified. The USA likely will go through over Guatemala and Panama. Jamaica and Honduras over Curacao and Trinidad and Tobago. I expect that to hold through the final match. 
But yes, that's all to be expected. This absolutely is not. Absolutely not acceptable. So, let's see if we can change that a little bit here with a match against Costa Rica in which we are all completely beaten up. Because of course we are. Hey. Well, we know Carducci's playing up in goal. That's a given. Dickinson on the bench. Oh, she's unhappy. Too bad I only have two keepers. Uh, the right's got to be Kofi. He's actually playing quite well. Uh, it's going to be, uh, I believe, Clement and Gasparato with Schneebelli on the left. Uh, Kubi's out injured, which is fantastic. Smith is actually gassed, so as much as I want to play him here, I can't. So Smith's left to go on the bench. On the right! So that's the center. What's going on here? Oh, right, I played an asymmetric formation. Just trying to get as many people as I could on the, uh, on the field. It didn't work out so well. Uh, let's see here. On the right, we gotta go with Aird, I think. Actually, no. Barrett's healthier. Good. You're in, Barrett. DLP, ball winning. Yikes. I don't want to play Levaya again, but what choice do I have? I could go, actually, you know what? I can go Kofi and then McIntosh. Again, I don't really want to, but I do not have a choice here. And on the left, it'll be aired. We'll probably play him. Yeah, we can't go with the D-winger set up. It has to be in support. We got to go for it. And then up front... The looks like it'll be Spencer in the deep line role, and Harrison's only a little jaded. Good, fantastic. You're up front. Hamilton will sit there, and then Lavia, Bridge, and Gilberto. Yikes! 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 <sighs> Alrighty, we gotta hope for a miracle now. We're gonna stay defensive and hope we can somehow beat Costa Rica on the counter three times to get through. Yeesh. All I wanted was a good gold cup and horrible results against El Salvador. Even a draw against Guadalupe they had to fight back and get. You'd think that would have been three points in the bag. Should have made this almost academic. A draw would have been enough. Such is life. Uh, he's a great player. That's wonderful for him. 3-5-2, or 5-3-2, depending on how you uh, rate it. Oh, dear. Uh, we got to somehow shut down a very good Costa Rica side. And if you remember, by pure ratings, we were somewhat one of the favorites coming into this. There's a very good chance we don't get out of this group. That might actually cost me my job with my country. Which does not bode well. Alright, guys. Passionate. Get these fans their money's worth. We need a win. We absolutely 100% need to win this. I cannot stress enough how much we have to win this. It's a mathematical long shot. And that's being generous. But the Canadians will have to somehow find three goals against Costa Rica. I'm not uh, all that confident. Aired, free kick. Gasparato's header. Oh, he's got one early! Luca Gasparato with a clutch header. His first ever for Canada. Oh, my goodness. Hold on to your hat, sports fans. Oh, my goodness. If we can somehow stun Costa Rica early, there is every chance we can sneak our way in unfortunately uh, we then fall asleep on defense so much for that early start yikes what happened there Schnibelli loses his man badly nobody backtracks they all just run right past him and Carducci really should have had that Everybody falls down. Not good. Carducci, ooh, yikes. Carducci's struggling early. Calm down, son. 
Alright, we're gonna have to up the tempo here. Counterattacking. I think we push Aerd forward and tell him to attack as well. I don't think Aerd a wide playmaker, couldn't I? Let's try that. Let's get Aerd as a wide playmaker. And we're going counter, direct, into space, up the tempo. I mean, we got to at this point. Beta. Over. Costa Rica are rather upset that we scored on them, apparently. Aired with another long one. Easily cleared by Chacon and Ruiz goes the other way. This is a Costa Rican counter now. Gonzalez on the left. Inside. Sibaya. Chacon. Ruiz! And it's 2-1 Costa Rica! That's not good. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. If only Schmitz weren't completely gassed. Well, now we gotta go for it. As if we didn't already. Yikes. Not the strongest days at the office for anybody, and now Gaspar will earn himself a yellow. Fantastic. Schneebelli, just a terrible, terrible day at the office. That is not good enough at all. Good, you understand how annoyed I am at all of you. Uh, as much as I want to... Oh, jeez, you take off Gasparato's performing well, or do you take off Schnibelli leaving a gassed Gasparato in? I think I will, because I can always shuffle around, bring on Ferguson, and move McIntosh inside. Yeah, I think we have to do that. All right, Smits. Make things happen, buddy. Canada need a win here, and they need a high-scoring win if they want to sneak out of the Cold Cup group stage. But right now, oh, come on! Really? Three matches, three CONCACAF penalties. Lovely. That is just lovely. Well, I'm glad to see at least the uh, football manager has CONCACAF's refereeing down to a science here. Unsurprisingly, Perez converts the penalty, and Canada have a massive hole to climb out of. Schnabelli, just absolute garbage. Absolute garbage. Elsie's having the best game of his career. What a time to have it. All right, Schmitz, you're on the left. Schnibelli, I will push you inside, and we'll bring Ferguson in on the right. All right, and then I think our final play is going to be to bring on Hamilton for a winger and go 4-3-3. And it's going to be now. Okay, so I think Aird is looking like he's had enough, so he comes out, Hamilton goes in, swap around, Hamilton attacking forward, advanced forward, N no, I said advanced forward, thank you, and Poacher, get up there. And, uh, Barrett, actually no, hang on, I'll do that, undo that, I can't bring off aired because he's the only one who can play centrally. So it looks like Barrett, you're coming off. Uh, what the heck just happened? No. Hamilton for Barrett. This is the problem I have right here. I can't even click on the bloody boxes properly. What hope do I have of winning this game? All right. 
Uh, Aparicio, you can just play a central midfield role. Aired, I need you as a DLP supporting. And then we need, let's try that again. Hamilton, advanced, attack. Harrison, poach, attack. All right, let's uh, narrow the field and go. This is where things get really dicey. 20 minutes to score two goals. Scratch that, three goals. Oh good, Elena Gonzalez injured. Come on guys, we, we need that miracle to happen right around now. Aired. Out wide to Ferguson. That cross is going nowhere. None of the three strikers up front could get a foot on that. Ferguson tries again. Nothing doing. Aparicio intercepts. Aired. Stevens. Hamilton! There's a goal from Hamilton! Lovely strike from Jordan Hamilton. They need one more to at least get a draw. But that might be too massive an ask. Still, it's a formation change that seems to have worked. Why couldn't we be scoring these goals against Guadalupe? Okay, uh, all out, boys. All out. Smiths down the line. Harrison. Good idea from Harrison. Nobody there, though. Time winding down for Canada. A draw might salvage their tournament, but unlikely. I don't think a draw gets us through as one of the best third place teams. I don't think that happens. Solorzano. Taken down by Kofi. Aaron intercepts. Looks up, finds Harrison. Taken down, Aparicio takes over. Aparicio, long for Hamilton. Cleared away. Costa Rica just have to hold the ball and they'll have no problems doing that. Don't know. Yeah, no, we do not get out of the group with this result. Not even close. We needed at least a point. And then we needed to hope like mad that Guadalupe just absolutely goes down the gutter. That ain't happening. And what would have been a very promising Gold Cup. Undone by atrocious results against both El Salvador and Guadalupe. Didn't like the penalty called against us. But really, not like we, uh, yeah, see, once again, we get concacaf No shocker there. That was horrible. Well, apparently I'm still in charge of Canada for the time being. I'll say, Chnibelli really, really did not do well there. Uh, nobody's happy. Uh, it was good. Uh, I was very... Luca, blah, blah, blah. Miserably below expectations. No kidding. Yeah. That was bad. Bad, 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 bad. Well, on the plus side, it's not like it can get any worse, right? Next time on Mr. Unemployable, we go back to the domestic front. And we will continue, or we will start the season, with Armenia Bielefeld against SC Kaiserslautern. and should be a good one in this Vibe Bundesliga. My name is Rotoro. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you like what you've seen, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, favorite, tell all your friends about these videos on YouTube, and don't forget to join us live in Twitch, twitch.tv slash Rotoro, where every single one of these episodes is recorded for the amusement of Twitch chat, who are already bothering me. <laughs> Why wasn't it a 4-2 prediction? Look, I tried. I tried, Snorlax. Or were you hoping it was going to be Costa Rica? Either way... My point is, my name is Arturo. You just call me Mr. Unemployable. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time.